strong women in their own right, both very accomplished. Representing a real change in the American political life in terms of their role in the campaign and their own lives. John Kerry has had many more difficult Ladies nights, I'm John, sure, in Vietnam as a combat Senator veteran. John Kerry. They may have thought that they would be in Fannel Hall, but not under these circumstances. strongly that uh, however you feel about ideology or parties, it takes so much courage to go out and run for national office. Put your name on the ballot. Yep. Face that personal rejection. Yep. Be examined 24-7 for more than a year. Give up any sense of a personal life of any kind. Have every aspect of your life, financial, personal, and otherwise, thank examined. You, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it was a long night and a long morning. And even though the outcome won't change, I want you to know that we will continue to fight for every vote. Because every vote matters in our America. And we will honor each one of you who stood with us and who stood in line to change your country. We believe in you. We didn't start fighting for you when this campaign began, and we won't stop fighting for you when this campaign ends. Your cause will always be our cause, and nothing makes John and me prouder than standing with all of you. In this hour, I'm held up by the love of my life, Elizabeth, and by our beautiful children, and... And I draw, draw great strength by standing with the man I fought alongside with the last four months, his beautiful wife, Teresa, and his wonderful daughters and sons. John Kerry is a great American. To be a part of the most important election of our lifetime and to fight for so many things of value and consequence, it was nothing short of an honor to work with such a kind, caring, and remarkable man. You cannot fight 18 hours a day, seven days a week, unless you love America. 
and John loves this country. In this campaign, we worked hard, and we hoped that the results would be different. And I want to talk to the tens of millions of people who worked alongside us, who believed in our cause, and who stood with us. You can be disappointed, but you cannot walk away. This fight has just begun. <laughs> Together, we will carry on and we will be with you every step of the way. You stood in line for 10 hours because you want your government to stand up for you. You stood in the rain to vote because you want to build one America. You missed classes, field hockey, soccer practices. You stood for hours and hours to let your voices be heard. Well, we heard you, and I want you to hear me. This campaign may end today, but the battle for you and the hardworking Americans who built this country rages on. The battle rages for the factory worker and the mill worker who says, I want to work, I just want a job. The battle rages on for the mother who sits in the emergency room with her daughter and wonders how she's going to pay the bill. The battle rages on for the young person who's worked hard and wants to go to college but doesn't have the money to pay for it. It goes on for the young child who doesn't understand why they're treated differently just because of the color of their skin. And it rages on for the mother who wants to know why her son was sent over there and will not come home. This fight will continue in our homes and in our union halls, in our churches and in our schools, in our offices and over the internet. We will keep marching toward that one America and we're not gonna stop until we get there. You know, I've learned a lot of lessons in my life. Two of the most important are the first, there will always be heartache and struggle. You can't make it go away. But the other is that people of good and strong will can make a difference. And we can make a difference. Rest assured, we will make a difference. One lesson is a sad lesson, but the other lesson is inspiring. And we are Americans, and so we choose to be inspired. We choose to be inspired because we know we can do better, because this is America, where everything is still possible. And at the end of our heartache today resides an eternal hope for the country we're going to fight for and the country we're going to build together. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who never surrendered his hopes and dreams for the country he loves so much, Senator John Kerry. <laughs> Thank, thank you so much. You, you just have no idea how warming and how generous uh, that welcome is, your love is, your affection, and I'm gratified by it. I'm sorry that we got here a little bit late and a little bit short. <laughs> uh, earlier today, uh, I spoke to President Bush and I offered him and Laura our congratulations on their victory. We had a good conversation. And we talked about the danger of division in our country and the need, the desperate need, for unity, for finding the common ground, coming together. Today, I hope that we can begin the healing. In America...
In America, it is vital that every vote count and that every vote be counted. But the outcome should be decided by voters, not a protracted legal process. I would not give up this fight if there was a chance that we would prevail. But it is now clear that even when all the provisional ballots are counted, which they will be, there won't be enough outstanding votes for us to be able to win Ohio. And therefore, we cannot win this election. My friends, it was here that we began our campaign for the presidency. And all we had was hope and a vision for a better America. It was a privilege and a gift to spend two years traveling this country, coming to know so many of you. I wish that I could just wrap you up in my arms and embrace each and every one of you individually all across this nation. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. We still got your back. Thank you, man. And I'm and I assure you, you watch, I'll still love yours. So thank you. Man. I will always be particularly grateful to the colleague that you just heard from who became my partner, uh, my very close friend, an extraordinary leader, John Edwards. And I thank him for everything he did. And thank you so much. John, John and I would be the first to tell you that we owe so much uh, to our families. They're here with us today. They were with us every single step of the way. They sustained us. They went out on their own and they multiplied our campaign all across this country. No one did this more with grace and with uh, courage and candor that I love than my wife, Teresa. And I thank her. And our children were there every single step of the way. Uh, it was unbelievable. Vanessa, Alex, uh, Chris, Andre, and John from my family, and Elizabeth Edwards, who was so remarkable and so strong and so smart. And Johnny and Kate, who went out there on her own, just like my daughters did. and. Also, Emma, Claire, and Jack, who were up beyond their bedtime last night, like a lot of us. I want to thank my crewmates and my friends from 35 years ago, that great band of brothers who crisscrossed this country on my behalf through 2004. They had the courage to speak the truth back then, 